Today we'll analyze the new tool from Linkbox, Inkalist. The link to it is in the upper right corner. Before using this tool, we need to check all our links in the project. For this, we select all the links, select the check link action and click start. My verification is already completed, so I proceed directly to the tool. Let's analyze the structure of the anchor list window. As usual, the filter fields are located above. The first field is a search. It's available by donor, acceptor, or anchor. The second field filtering by link campaigns. Then, filtering by type of links, filtering by link attributes, do you follow, no follow, it's. Filtering at the intersection with crawlers, hrefs, console, and our temporary folder. Anchor indexing filtering. So go down below. On the left, we have a graph of link dynamics based on console data. Generally, there can be any crawler. And there's even an option to download your links with dates when you put them in the crawler temporary. Then based on these data, a graph will be built. Here we can notice the link explosion that occurred on the 5th. For this day, 98 links went to the console. In general, this is useful in order to evaluate the informity of these links. On the right, we have the ratio of fields. The first field is indexing options. The resolution of pages with links for indexing. We see that we have 83% of links allowed for indexing. The second field we have is the type of links. 99% of the links are just href, that is regular links. The third field is indexed links. In this case, we have indexed only 33% of the links. The fourth field is attributes of links. The ratio of do follow to no follow. We see that we have only 16% no follow, which in principle most likely is not enough, but not critical. In general, these ratios help us adjust our link strategy depending on our goals for these ratios. Goals are usually set from competitors' analysis. So let's go directly to the table with anchors. Here we can see that a total of 1,384 links were found from 286 domains, and they have 6,790 anchors. So the data is grouped by the anchor. For example, we click in more detail, and we see accurately for this anchor what donors we have, what indexation status of these donors is, whether there are intersections with crawlers, in which link campaigns these links are located. Page acceptor, link attributes and link type. In general, it's useful to see the whole picture for each specific anchor. This data can be exported to Excel for further analysis. So let's figure out how you can use the anchor sheet for a more in-depth analysis of your link profile. For example, let's select only indexed anchors, only those anchors that are in the console, and only do follow. Therefore, we selected those links that are very likely to affect our site. These are three of these essential criteria. We click on filtering and we see that there are only 468 anchors, 297 links, 120 donor domains in our project. We can look at the anchor list and see that basically it's without anchor links, but we see one anchor link which occurs 13 times, therefore a bit too much. But it already depends on your link strategy. So these data can also be exported to Excel. And in addition, it's a good idea to correlate data on anchors with positions on these anchors. Therefore, when new anchors enter here, you will track the dynamics of positions and often see a positive result in dynamics. It's beneficial to control your project situation as strictly as possible.
more detailed analysis of specific anchors would also be a good option. For example, type flower delivery. Click on the filter and see that 42 anchors contain this request. It helps to analyze your link profile as thoroughly as possible. We click in more detail and we see that all anchors lead to one page, which in principle is not bad because there are often situations when different pages are promoted under one anchor. They interfere with each other and as a result, there is no result. In general, this is all I would like to tell you today. I think you will have many ideas on how to use this tool. I wish you success.